Camp Kennedy. Hey, what's going on everybody? Kenan here and today's bonus video is about the elongated tortoise, which is what you're looking at right here. Now this particular elongated tortoise is a wild caught individual that was smuggled out of Vietnam many, many years ago uh, in the early 90s and I got this group from someone who is a member of the TSA and now they live with me. And that's why if you look at this animal shell, you can see that there's been some damage to the shell right here. Um, this animal is fine. Uh, also very, very shy. She's not coming out of her shell, which is kind of a bummer. I picked the wrong lady to come on out. But I really love this species and I'll tell you why. They don't get big. This is as big as an elongated tortoise gets, whether it's a male or a female. And they're actually really, really hardy individual animals. As a species, uh, they're pretty tough. Um, I live here in Palm Beach County, Florida, and we experience some nights that will dip into the 30s on very rare occasions. These animals can withstand it as long as there's a lot of leaf litter and as long as the temps shoot back up into the 70s the next day. Uh, if it stays in the 30s or it stays below freezing for way too long, you're going to want to make sure you get these animals inside. But the reason I mention that is because they are somewhat cold tolerant. They're, they don't hibernate but they are hardy and that's important. Um, I like them as pets because they don't get big, because they're tough and because they eat a wide range of fruits and vegetables. And there are some instances where you may see these guys eating small invertebrates like earthworms or slugs, something to that nature. However, I don't feed mine any animal protein. I allow them to forage and if they get it, so be it, no big deal. Now, what I wanna show you, well, I guess she's just gonna chill out right here. But what you'll get really excited about are these little babies. And the babies are incredible because they're so variable. Let's see if I can focus in on the baby here. We'll touch that. Let's say, there we go. We got a nice focus now. So here are the babies. Here's one baby, okay? Here's another one that's just super rad coloration. Beautiful little little guys, uh, love these animals. And let me show you this, this one over here just to see the variation in their shells. You can kind of see they have a lot of contrast. They're, some people consider them, uh, they think that they're not beautiful. I would disagree. I think they get really, really nice coloration and uh, I, I enjoy you know, hatching these babies out. Um, these guys right here are gonna love high humidity. Same thing with the adults. These guys need to be watered every day, a little misting, very important. I keep them on a bed of cypress mulch and potting soil. You can do a repti bark with some organic potting soil. Uh, they love to burrow into it. They love to soak all the time, these guys. So they're always gonna be soaking and uh, hiding in leaf litter and they're always going to be looking around for food and they're most active after the rain and they're also crepuscular which if you've been watching the videos you know what that means that means that they are active at dawn and dusk uh, these are true forest species they don't like uh, bright sunny areas they want a lot of canopy and coverage and that's exactly what they do they search it out and when they bask they'll bask for a little while in the little sunlight flecks that shine through the canopy in the jungle or the forest where they live. Uh, these are just super duper tough tortoises and lots of personality. When they come out, they're always looking for me and looking for food. Uh, I just, God, is that amazing? Look at the difference there. They're really, really pretty little tortoises. So something that you definitely want to check out and uh, possibly keep as a pet because they don't require too much space. You know, you want to raise a baby up in something that's about, oh, I don't know, three by three, and as they grow, an adult can live in a nice eight by four enclosure. Uh, but always, guys, you know what I like to stress, right? And that's building a nice outdoor enclosure when possible uh, to get these guys out in the open. And these aren't always offered for sale. They're not as common as some of the other pet tortoises out there, which is another good reason to kind of get them represented in the captive bred pet trade so that people aren't taking from the wild. Uh, these animals do wind up in the food markets in Asia. They are becoming increasingly rare. They're the intestudo, excuse me, uh, 
Indo Testudo elongata. Uh, there's also the Trandicor tortoise and the Forstens tortoise. They're a little bit more um, rare, but these guys are a member of the same genus as those animals I, I had just mentioned, and they are becoming increasingly rare. Uh, but they are rewarding animals to keep, especially if you live in a high humidity environment like southern southeastern United States. Great species to work with, super duper cool. The elongated tortoise, that's a little information about these guys. When you feed them, like I said, many different fruits and vegetables, uh, higher fruit content than most of your other grazing species of tortoise. But uh, another thing I'll recommend or I can mention is usually I keep all my tortoises separate. Uh, the adults right here were wild caught, so I never mix them with any other animals. But the babies here, these guys can live with redfoots because they do actually um, eat the exact same foods, uh, and they are a forest species. And this little guy's getting my. This little guy was trying to get through my arm right there. So there you have three beautiful babies. Uh, they cost uh, between. You know, you're going to see them on sale for 150 to 175 out there in different breeders. I sell them for 150. They're great, uh, plus shipping. So if you're interested, you can email me at campkennon at gmail.com. Uh, but this is a great species. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this bonus video. She's still not even close to coming out. That's too bad because uh, the males, when they go through breed, this is a female, but the males... Uh, we'll get a yellow head uh, and sometimes turns pink as well. So uh, really kind of brown shell, pink or yellow head, beautiful little animal. Uh, and now you know a little bit more about the elongated tortoise on today's bonus video. So thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time on another Camp Cannon video. We just wanted to do something tortily for you all because we've been doing a lot of snakes and other animals. So I wanted to get back to our roots a little bit. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon. I gotta get these guys back. And uh, man, there's always a lot of work to do here at the camp. We'll see you soon. Later.